Yo, what's good fam? Agent O here with another action figure review. And today I have the Max Factory EX Ride Series, the BK91A. And yeah, um, there really isn't much to really talk about this figure. Uh, I mean, this toy, I got it because I like concept bikes. I like motorcycles that don't look like stuff that's out there in the real world. And I think this definitely fits that look. Um, as you can see, there's um, images from the production photos that they use to advertise for this bike. And as you can tell from the uh, color scheme of the box art, it's black on black like the bike itself. Um, here's a full size viewing of the or image of the bike. And I think this is the same. It's just cut off because of the the, the packaging and you have another view of the bike here as well so yeah um, this is pretty much it for the uh, box art display portion of the review <laughs> uh, let's get into the actual review of this actual product and here is the bike and I'll put down the kickstand I do like how when you put this kickstand up it angles flushly with the bike and then when you put it back down it it angles out that was a really nice touch um, and it's real simple the way they the way they engineered that but yeah this is the bike as you can see uh, I really dig it and when I opened the box it came with this card art of the character on the bike I guess her name is itchy um, I also do have the figure I'll do a review once I get some replacement Figma joints because I accidentally broke the arm. Her shawl thingy was covering the arm as I was bending it, so I couldn't tell what direction the joint was in, and I hyperextended it and it broke. So, so yeah, uh, review on that figure com um, coming soon <laughs> when I get the parts uh, to replace the broken joint. But yeah, it came with this art. The art looks pretty nice. On the back is. 3d scans of the bike that they I guess that they modeled um, you know while they were preparing to create this uh, toy so yeah, I came with this uh, it's a nice touch I don't know why I don't really think it was necessary but hey it came with it whatever so I'm throwing, showing it for review purposes but yeah uh, getting into the bike itself um, just to get the wheel rolling out of the way it does roll for people that are curious it does that rather well uh, the, the tires are made out of plastic. Um, I have the Saber, uh, Fate Zero Saber bike from the same uh, toy line, and those tires are made out of rubber. I don't know why they went for the change. Maybe it was cheaper. I don't know. It doesn't really matter because the tires still do what they're supposed to do, and I do think they look good. Um, I do like the tread pattern that they put on it. Um, and as far as the rest of the bike, uh, even though the fact that it's mostly black, they still found ways with like the detail, the surface detailing, and um, just using a few other colors to break up the monotony of the blackness. Like, like as you can see, the rims, the wheel, what the real, ugh. the wheel rims are like a gunmetal gray, and the actual, I think, like the brakes are more of a silver color. I can't really show it that well because my lighting is too much but the well, lighting is too much but but yeah it's uh it's they kind of got like a silver um on the inside of the wheel wells where the brakes i guess would be uh, there's also the piping on the front of the bike is that gunmetal gray the headlights are silver you've got the white stripes along the back on uh i don't know what these are supposed to be saddlebags maybe like futuristic looking hard saddlebags i don't know but uh and you've got the lettering and then you've even got these copper accents on the brakes and on both sides of the bike frame and I think that helps break up uh, the you know the monotony of the of the black tone that goes across this entire bike even on the even on the uh, I keep on say fuselage but on the fuel tank there's a texture and it's a matte finish but there's also like a slight bumpy texture on the uh, on the fuel tank and so that helps make the color a little different from even the seat which is a shinier finish but they're both black but they both have like a since the 
since the finish, uh, the surface of the plastic is, a, is different, it kind of gives a different um, coloring effect for the bike. And I kind of like that they pulled that off on, on areas of, on various areas of the bike. Even here on the shocks, the shock spring, the spring itself is a glossy black. And I think that's a nice little subtle touch that they did because they didn't really need to do that. And it's on both sides of the bike as well. They didn't need to do that, but they did, and I think that's pretty nice. Um, it's a really small detail, but it does work if you're somebody like me that's like kind of pawning over every single aspect of this of this bike. But uh, yeah, there's only one other like small nitpick I do have about the bike is on the bottom. Even though you've got like a lot of cool detail, you've got the piping from the engine and stuff. There's no peg hole so that you can use a Figma stand to like pop it up for wheelies or have it suspended in the air on the stand. Um, like I said before, I have a Sabres bike from the Fate Zero series and on the bottom you can see that there's a peg hole just for that, spe specifically for that. So it would have been nice to have that, uh, to have that on this bike as well. But it's not, it's not so big a deal that it takes me out of of liking this bike for what all they've done with it um there is one other thing uh that i did want to point out as far as accessories it doesn't i mean it i don't really think it should come with accessories but it does it comes with these two uh attachment pieces and they go in these peg holes on both sides of the bike just plug it in like so oops i want to plug this one on the other side plug this one in like in like so and this plugs in as well and as you can see as you can see um, there's another peg and that is for itchy sword this is the sword in its sheath mode um, you can pop it out and then you slide the handle down and then now you now it's in like now you can use it but I'll get more into that whenever I get to the review for the actual figure but yeah this smaller peg um, which is removable you just plug it into the side of the bike and then Oops, I plugged it into the wrong side. I don't want to plug it into this side. I should have went on the other side. But yeah, plugs in. And then plug that in. And now the sword is mounted on the bike. And since it's like a, since it's like a swivel arm, you can swivel it out and in as you see fit. It's supposed to hold, but for some reason it's not holding. Of course, because I'm filming, it's not holding, but it's supposed to like hold which position you rotate it in. But for some reason it's not doing that. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't want to behave for the sake of this review. But you get the general idea. Um, this is how it's supposed to work in theory. And for whatever reason it's not. But yeah, um, that I could definitely consider being a drawback of this. I feel like they could have done this. They could have engineered this a bit better than what they did. Um, because as it is, I don't think it works that great, which is too bad. But maybe, uh, maybe if I use a little bit of uh, clear polish or something on the inside of the peg hole, it might, uh, it might hold that peg in a little tighter. Um, but whatever I shouldn't have to do that, but that's that's I guess the workaround I'll have to go with whenever I get around to doing that anyway That's gonna pretty much do it for that review. So barring the whole sword mount um, Gimmick, I think the bike itself is pretty nice And uh, if you like Figma's and you like concept bikes like I do I would definitely suggest to get this um, You don't have to this, since the sword comes with the figure and if you don't want the figure then you don't have to worry about this you can just use the bike as is because everything else about the bike works aside from that 
aside from that sword mounting function. So I still think it's still a good purchase, um, you know, for that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it. So if you like what you saw, leave a like on the video so that I know that I'm doing a good job and more people can get access to this video, the more people that like it. And also uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay up on all the rest of my up newly uploaded content. Uh, leave your comments below if you've got any other co cool concept bikes that you think I might be interested in or you would suggest, or you just wanna talk about your favorite looking uh, bikes from different you know, TV and movies and anime and stuff like that, then yeah, definitely uh, let me know and put that in the comments section. And until the next review, I'll catch you guys Later. I'm Agent O and I'm out. Peace.